Sandra. Pedro and Cher, more than 7,700 now reported dead. It really is hard to imagine. But we are seeing, as you mentioned, these amazing stories of people pulled alive from the rubble, including a baby just hours old whose parents and siblings were killed, but somehow she survived. A rescuer covered in dust runs with a newborn in his hands. The baby girl is now in a Syrian hospital suffering from hypothermia, cuts and bruises. Her doctor says she was found with her umbilical cord still attached. It's a rare story of hope in the midst of so much devastation after yesterday's 7.8 earthquake in Turkey and Syria. In Syria late today, rescuers pulled an entire family from a collapsed building, including several very young children. Thousands are dead across two countries, and the cries for help are quieting tonight. Rescuers still hoping to find survivors digging through the rubble with their hands. The U.S. and other countries are sending search teams and will commit funds for the recovery. A crew from L.A. County expected to arrive on the scene later today. The devastation has triggered new concerns here in California. It's what we worry about in California. It's why we keep on talking about the San Andreas Fault, because it runs through our backyards. Seismologist Lucy Jones says California has not had a true catastrophic earthquake in more than 100 years, but it will happen again. You know, when we model what's going to happen in California for a big southern San Andreas earthquake, we estimate 1,500 collapsed buildings because those are the buildings that we know are deficient. But for now, the focus remains on Turkey and Syria, where tens of thousands are trapped, injured and homeless. And strong aftershocks are continuing to bring down buildings. And tonight, the experts actually warning that those uh, areas could experience strong aftershocks for several weeks to come. There is harsh winter weather there. Temperatures in the 20s tonight, making it really hard for those rescue crews and even more urgent that they get to those that are still trapped. Pedro and Cher. Just absolutely incredible to see that young infant mm. still alive. No, incredible story.